Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to discuss anagrams and palindromes. So it's important to know that anagrams are just arrangements of sets of letters, and palindromes are arrangements which read the same in both directions. In other words, the same letters in the same order, whether you read them forwards or backwards. Here we have a set of seven letters, including two A's, two B's, two C's, and an E. So if we're asked how many anagrams are possible using the entire set of letters, we're being asked to arrange seven letters. Now if you're familiar with counting methods, seven factorial is the number of ways to arrange seven objects. But if we just use seven factorial, we're actually going to get a number that's too large. Why? Some of the arrangements will not be distinguishable from other arrangements. The two A's are identical and we would have counted two times too many arrangements of the A's, similarly for the B's and the C's. But there's a very easy way to fix that. You count the number of A's, which is two, and you divide seven factorial by the number of arrangements of those two letters, two factorial, or two. Count the number of B's, divide by the number of arrangements of those letters, two factorial. The number of C's, two factorial, and the number of E's is one, but just for the sake of being consistent, we're going to say, divide that by one factorial. You can either do this calculation on your calculator, in which case remember to put the denominator into parentheses, or you can work it out by writing seven factorial as what it's equal to, seven times six times five times four times three times two times one, and then writing out the denominator, two times one, two times one, two times one, times one. Let's reduce. These twos divide to give us a factor of one. Two times two is four, which divides out the four from the numerator. Seven times six times five times three. So there are 630 different distinguishable anagrams we can get from these seven letters. Now let's talk about palindromes. Palindromes are different from anagrams. An anagram of those seven letters might be A, B, B, C, E, C. Any arrangements possible, I can just scramble the letters into any order. But a palindrome must read the same backwards and forwards. Notice that in this case, there are pairs of letters which could match up at the beginning and end of the word, except for the letter E. So for a seven letter word to be a palindrome, the middle letter would have to be the letter that only occurs once. Then on either side of the letter, we we could have pairs, like perhaps the B is next to the E on the left and the right. Perhaps the A comes after that, has to be on the left and the right, and then maybe the C comes next. So this word is a palindrome, it reads the same backwards and forwards. But how do we count the total number of possible palindromes? One way is to use systematic listing. But another approach is to use the fundamental counting principle, which says that we can break the task down into parts, count the number of ways each part can occur, and multiply those together. In order to do this, I'm going to set up a little diagram. The red line will represent the letter that we choose for the middle letter. The blue lines will be the letters on either side of that, green on either side of that, purple on either side of that. So as we already discussed, since E only occurs once, it has to be the letter in the middle. That means that we only have one option for E. So let's choose that one first. That's going to be our first part of our task choosing the letter E, and there's only one way that that can happen. That's the first factor in our product. Next, let's choose the letters on either side of E. So the letter might be A and A, or B and B, or C and C. Any of these is possible. But to think of it in terms of breaking this down into parts of the task, I'm going to have to choose this letter, and this letter on the left of E has three possibilities. But let's say that I picked A for this letter. Then I really don't have any choice for the letter on the right. Only one possibility, it also has to be an A. The next portion of our fundamental counting principle is going to be three for the letter on the left, three possibilities for the letter on the left, and one possibility for the letter on the right. Next, let's do the letters in green. Suppose we did use A. We've used E and we've used A. So there are only two possibilities left for the letter in green. It's either going to be a B or a C. Two possibilities. But once we decide which of these letters to use, for example suppose we chose the B, there is only one option for the other letter in green. It has to be a B as well. So for our parts of our task, we will next choose the letter on the left in green. Two ways to do that. We're going to multiply that by the number of ways to choose the letter in the right on the right in green. Only one way to do that. Next, let's choose the letters in purple. Well, if we've already used the B's, 
then there would only be C's left to choose from. But in general, there will only be one letter left to choose from for our letter in purple here. And it has to be the identical letter on the right. So the number of ways to complete the last two parts of the task are each one. So we multiply these together, and the result is that there are only six possible palindromes made from these seven letters. If you think about it, it makes sense. We know that E has to be in the middle. Next to it, we can either have A's or B's or C's. Once we've chosen that letter, there's only two possibilities remaining. If A is next to E, then either B or C has to come next. If B is next to E, then either A or C has to come next. And if C is next to E, then either A or B has to come next. In each case, that only leaves one option for the first and last letters of the palindrome. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please remember to like it so other folks can find it too. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.